What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Hope you're doing well. Happy Saturday. Currently sitting at 0.062 for a Gala Games. Huge pump over the last 24 hours, up 17%. See, Mark Capital, 393 million. 24 hour volume, 830 million. Um, if you're new to Bybit or Bitget, make sure to sign up. Bitget's where I do the majority of my trading. Earn up to 8K in bonuses, up to 30K in bonuses on Bybit. Sign up to either or. Email me your sign up email. It takes two minutes. Completely free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members. So I post um, this signal in the Discord right before we broke out. Uh, possible alternative wave count that we're going to push up in an ending diagonal. And um, that's what I think has already started to play out here. So if we pop over to the chart... Uh, this is where I gave the signal when we were pulling back, just starting to trickle up from the wave two. And it looks like we've pushed right up into that wave three. So ending diagonals, they consist of ABCs, three-way moves instead of five-wave moves like an impulse. Um, so as you can see, we have a nice wave A, a wave B pullback, and then pushing up. So a couple of scenarios that you could look at here. It could be that this wave three is already complete in an ABC with a really explosive move here. Or I don't think this is the more probable scenario just because how small the wave one is. Wave one, wave two, this is all huge. Wave three, pull back in a wave four and then push up in a wave five. It's possible because you can take your fib retracement if that were to be a wave two low. Let me grab this right here where this is a tiny ass wave one, wave two, and then a huge wave three. The problem that I have is if you take a trend base of expansion from the bottom of wave one to the top, to the bottom of wave two, a wave three can only extend four and a quarter and it's way past that. So I don't think that's likely. So um, what's more likely in my opinion is that you'll you'll put in a three wave move and a pullback and a wave four, A, B, C, and a wave four, and then look to push up in a wave five. But if we do bounce from here and we push up, then it may just be that that wave three is not complete yet, and you're still gonna put in a slightly higher high. We'll have to see how that plays out. But I do think the ending diagonal is likely and that we're creating a rising wedge. If we look at the daily time frame, uh, let me quickly remove my squigglies. This is just for updates in my Discord. As you can see, we have a strong bearish divergence. Money is flowing out. So the whales and the, the people with large positions are selling their positions to the people that are foaming in. So as price is pushing up, more amounts of money are flowing out, which is a bearish divergence. It doesn't mean that it's promised that price will come down, but these are strong warning signs that we use for potential reversals. So if we see the daily candle, if we see a topping tail, where this daily candle comes down and we have a long wick up, that's also another reversal signal. It's called the topping tail candle. And as it can signify that the move is losing strength. Now, currently we are holding the 20 EMA. We've almost bounced off the 20 EMA. We didn't quite yet come back to it, but we have had the bullish cross. Um, but I do think pullback is near. So if we do continue to the upside, we might do a little trickle like this and create that rising wedge pattern and then eventually roll over. Now, anything can happen. If we do explode to the upside, then your technical target from this bull flag is up here at about 13 cents. Now, I've been talking about that invalidation point for a few weeks now. Um, oh, it must have got erased. Well, I can quickly draw it in with a brush. So we're looking at an ending diagonal, wave one, wave two. This is a wave three, wave four. Now, if we were to come up and break 0 0.071, 0 0.072, as we've been covering on the channel, then the bearish wave count is wiped out that you're still going to look to come down in a lower low. But there are some analysts, including Michael Burry, which they made the, the movie The Big Short. Um, he's comparing the S&P to the, the financial crisis of 2008, which he predicted. And the chart is similar, and it shows we'd still have another 30% decline for the S&P 500, which would obviously put in a lower low for the crypto market. But if we do break that point from an Elliott Wave standpoint at 0 0.072, we definitely have a strong case for a bottom being in for Gala Games. Um, but there is still the opportunity if we don't break it that we come down and put a lower low. I don't think it's as likely personally with this massive breakout, but this would just be a masterful bull trap if, uh, if that were to play out and we put in a lower low. But in the short term, we'll zoom back in on the one hour time frame. Um, the two scenarios I'm looking at is you're either starting to come down in that wave four, so you'd come down in the ABC in a wave four, 
or you're going to bounce from here and you're still going to put a higher high in a wave in that wave c in the smaller wave c which is a five wave move um, but I think it's more likely that this A, B, C is complete and then you'd start to come down in that wave four and then you'd see one more bounce up in a wave five. Now, if we do start to come down and break this low of the wave two, which is currently at 0 0.047, then what you would look at is that the wave five is complete because it already broke the wave three high and you would start to see the correction. We'll see how it plays out, but I think it's likely that we'll see this ending diagonal uh, pattern see continuation all right gang that's it for this one sign up to either bitget or bybit grab your bonuses and then email me your sign up email and i'll give you completely free access to over 2,000 members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto and at the 10 usd membership early access to my analysis as well as signals which i just showed you with with gala there that's only 10 bucks a month same price as a netflix subscription you also get access to crypto news you can see how the members are doing with their own trades. I like to post their profits in here. With see what I'm doing with my heart of all plays. Same price as a Netflix subscription. Sign up to the Patreon link. Everything else is free. Sign up to one of the exchanges. Email me or sign up email. And I'll see you in the next video. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. All right. Much love. Take care.